Put this in your pipe and smoke it. The Mail newspaper report that cannabis is just as harmful as cocaine and crack and should be classified as a Class A drug. This according to police chiefs. A group of conservative police and crime commissioners will demand that the drug be put on a par with crack and cocaine. If adopted, the change would see the maximum penalties for possession increase from five to seven years and the maximum penalty for supplying cannabis would increase from 14 years in prison to a life jail sentence. I think this is an important moment in the national conversation around drugs. Public health and obesity were the big themes of last night's show. But people hoovering up recreational substances, filling their lungs and bloodstreams with narcotics, clearly isn't great for their health either. The use of marijuana has effectively been decriminalized in this country, leaving users exposed to the massive potential health risks of this mind-altering substance. Yes, booze can be just as bad for some, and there are plenty of people out there who can have a spliff whilst holding down a successful job and having a successful life. And for those with severe illnesses, marijuana can be a miraculous painkiller. But what the unlucky few who find getting stoned actually causes is profound psychological reactions, particularly the incredibly strong, often chemically enhanced skunk, as it's known, that often now goes into a joint. The problem we have in this country is that drug use has become normalised. Even the middle classes are at it, doing lines of cocaine with their high-flying chums. And of course, we know that the Colombian marching powder is a part of daily life in the Houses of Parliament. The genie is out of the lamp. I don't think you're going to stop the narcotics trade. The war on drugs has been lost. But at school, we've got to educate kids about the potentially life and health altering impact of these illegal drugs. Yes, the hard stuff, crack and heroin, for example, but the supposedly mild stuff too, like ecstasy or grass. It's not ecstasy if you wind up in A&E or suffer reduced life chances or destroyed relationships because you can't get off the pills. Notwithstanding the link between marijuana use and mental conditions like schizophrenia and psychosis, there's a real risk that youngsters strung out on weed simply find their lives are going nowhere. No ambition, no energy, no impetus. Many preferring to just sit at home on the sofa, roll a spliff and get off their baps as they graze all day long on Mars bars, Diet Coke and Pringles. I had a stoner friend at university and his TV breakfast show was Countdown at four in the afternoon. I'm all for making dope as bad as crack and heroin because it diminishes lives. The message from the educators, the police and the government should be clear. Drugs are not good for you and they're not allowed in this country. They're against the law and the law should be enforced. The illegal trade in narcotics fuels gang crime and burglaries, hurts families, impacts mental and physical health and damages society. And the smell from marijuana cigarettes is pungent and disgusting. The drugs don't work. And if you're on them, it's likely neither will you. Millions of people getting high is a new low for Britain.